Welcome to the Devworm channel and today we are going to be adding combat to our game for episode 7 of the how to make an action RPG series in which I teach you step by step how to make an amazing RPG game in Goda. But before we get started I just want to ask if you could please go down there and hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on this video as it helps YouTube push the series to more people. So more inspiring game developers just like you can learn to make their own Godot games as well. But let's get started with the combat system so we can fight the slime that we made in the last episode. Okay, so we're going to start by adding our weapon, which for us, our weapon is going to be like a little animation of we're going to jump and like stomp on the slime, if that makes sense. So we're going to use an animation player for this. So we're going to go to our player scene. We can go up here and we can add a, our, first we'll add an area 2D. And then inside of here, we can add a collision shape 2D. And I'm going to name the area 2D the weapon. Whoops. The weapon. Because this is going to be our weapon. And the collision shape is just going to be the area which, you know, like the weapon takes up. So like, I don't know. If the slime is in, if the slime is in like this area here, then, oh yeah, if the slime's anywhere in this area here, then it will take a little bit of damage, right? So we also want to disable this. So this means the collision shape is not active. It is not active because we have disabled it. Now it's active, now it's not. So we want it to be disabled. And then we wanna go over here and go up to the player and we're gonna add a animation player. Our animate animation player. It's all the way down here. It's a little pink film symbol. And we're going to click here, new animation, and we can name this like attack, right? We'll just name it attack because it's going to be our attack animation. Uh, this is very long. We'll do like 0.3, but we can change that in a second. All right, we'll just go over here, right here to this little clock, 0 0.3, because I want it to do like, it's going to have a scene here, a scene there, a scene there, or we may even do it shorter. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But we'll go here and we want to start this off at the position that we're at now. So let's see. So where's the animated anim animation player? So we want to go up to our player here or we want to go to our animation player. We're going to add a track, a property track. We're going to add it to, let's see. So we'll go with the animated sprite. You could do the player, but then that's going to move everything which i guess could also be good but we just want to play the animation for this right so we'll go with the animated sprite as that should work and then we'll do we'll add a position we'll also go add a property track for the animated sprite we'll do rotation degrees and then we can go in here and if you right right click you can insert a key right right click down here we can insert keys right so the position we want all this to be exactly what we're at now right because we want everything to be pretty normal we want everything to stay still because when we start the animation we want it to also be the same as when we end the animation so we can also insert a key here insert a key there and now we have like the exact same all the way through then we want to go to the middle of the animation which is going to be like 0.15 which it should take us to the middle but i don't think it is for some reason it's not taking us to the middle but I guess here, so what we can do is we can make the time a little lower. We'll make it two seconds or 0.2 of a second. Now we can go into the middle. So it's going to be like perfect attack. We can insert a key here, insert a key here. And what we want is in these middle keys, we want the player to do a little bit of movement, but not too much. So what we can do is we can turn this playing off. So it's not playing. We can go down here to the transform and then we can just move this around a little bit. So, okay, so everything's gonna end up moving. So we can move the animated sprite all the way down to the bottom then we can just move the animated sprite. So we'll move this like up like this, right? Up just a little bit. And then we can also, that's not gonna let us rotate it. But we can go over here to the rotation. We can rotate it like not that much obviously but like we'll do like negative what's five look like doesn't look bad let's try and get like a little bit more of effect yeah okay we'll, we'll go with negative 10 so negative 10 
move your little player up a little bit. Now, if we move this back up here, we can go to our animated sprite. We can go... Let's see. So we're going to have to delete that. Delete that. Now, insert a key there. Insert a key there. So now you can see this has a completely different everything. Or you can see like, okay, so this is better. So you see this little key here in the front is for the rotation degree. And it has a value of zero. Now, when we go here, we're rotated negative 10, and then we're going to rotate back, right? So if we go to the start, we can play it, and you can see like that's kind of our animation. Now, it's a little bit, it's a little bit quick, so let's go back to point three. Let's make this a little bit longer here so we can spread these out. And then let's see, maybe if we move these on this side. Just you gotta play around with your animations. Animations take a while, so whatever animation you want. If you want to swing a sword or or whatever your animation that you're making is. That looks bad. Let's see what it looks like this way. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. What if we move this here? What would that do? I mean, so animation, you can kind of do whatever you need, right? Whatever. This is just a little placeholder animation for our our weapon. And we also need to go here. we got to add a track. We're going to go property track. We can do our weapon. And then we can do, it's called dis should be called disabled maybe that's on the collision shape okay yeah never mind that that's on the collision shape so we want to go to add track property track and we can go to the collision shape 2d that's under the weapon now yeah now disables there so at the start of our animation we want disabled so our first we're going to need two disabled keys so that's at the front and this is at the start of the animation so at the start of the animation, we want disabled or we want it to be off, right? Because we want the the collision shape to be enabled, right? Because any of this time, any time like we play the animation, we want it to turn on. But then as soon as the animation's over, we want it to turn off, right? So now if we play it, you can see it turns off whenever the animation's over. But it's on during the animation, if that makes sense. So if we're in the player, we click our attack button. And then we're going to hit the player or we're going to hit the enemy once we're going to put and play the animation so we're going to hit the enemy play the animation then we're going to turn off the collision shape so it doesn't keep making contact with the enemy you see what i'm saying so that looks good it should work now if we play our we don't have a uh we have a working thing now right everything's working so let's start with the combat. We're going to put a bunch of stuff in code. It's going to get complicated. So be ready. But let's go get started with uh, all the input stuff and buttons and making stuff work, right? So let's do it. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go up here to our project, project settings, input map, and we're going to make a new key. So we'll go up here. This is going to be our attack key. So we'll just name it attack. Right, and then the button for attack can be anything. I'm gonna go with E because it's like right next to the WASD stuff. It makes it look good. E, and that's gonna be our attack button. So that looks good. Now we wanna go to our player or into our player GD. And let's see, so where can we put this? I think it's gonna, yeah, so it should have to be in the physics. But first we need to go up here and we need to uh, make an on ready bar. So on ready bars you normally want to put at the very, very top. So we'll do an on ready bar. And this is going to be weapon and we're going to get our weapon. So we're going to do a little thing called the money sign, which is like, it's going to find it, right? So at weapon, right? Because that's what we named, named our area 2D. So that simple. And then uh, it should work. So now under the physics, process let's go down here the input we can delete because we don't really need to print that that much i don't it's not that important to print that but okay so let's see okay wait 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 we need to create a new function yeah okay so never mind 
Let's skip past all this. Go all the way down here. Let's make a new function. This function is going to be called unhandled. It should pop up because it is a go dot function. Let's see, unhandled input event, just like that. And then we can go in here to event. We want to add a little piece to it, which is going to be input event. And then let's void that, right? Just like so. So this is a new function. This is going to be like, it's going to handle. So whenever our, I don't really know exactly how to explain it, but we're going to do like if input or if, I mean, if event that is action press, which, which is going to be our attack button that we just created, then we're going to send a thing to weapon dot attack, right? And weapon dot attack is going to be a function in the weapon script, which we haven't made yet. Right? So let me show you. So event dot is, this is something that I haven't done on the channel yet. So if action pressed and then our new button that we made attack, which is the E button and then weapon dot attack, which weapon dot attack right here, it should give us an error or maybe it doesn't, but it should give us an error because this attack right here is not a function, right? This is not a function. It's not even created yet, but we'll go over here to weapon. We will add a weapon .gd script. We can, do we need the ready? We may need, we may, no, we may need it later, but right now we don't. So we'll delete it. We want to make another on ready var on ready var. This is going to be for our animation players. So we can just do that. Get, uh get parent and then we want to get node and this is going to be the animation player so we can get our animation and then we want to do function attack right which is the the function that we made in the other script and then this is going to be we're going to grab our so this is our animation player and then dot play attack right so now we're going to play our attack animation so if we play the game theoretically if we click e we play the little animation right and let me show you this so if you go to debug we do visible collision shapes now we play you'll see okay so it's always on which is bad okay so i know why this is because we have it starting on right but you can see it's off we click it it turns on it goes off right during our animation and whenever we start the game you can kind of see it's it's broken but that is easy to fix we go over here to our collision shape and we just click on disabled now if we were to play it starts off it comes on whenever we play our animation and everything works nice and good so now we're gonna have to make like a signal from our weapon and then we're gonna have to have bodies so we can see if something entered this area and if something did enter that area then we're going to send damage to the enemy. So the enemy takes damage. So, uh, so yeah. So what we want to do is we want to send a signal from our area 2D, which is going to be over here, body entered and body exited. This is going to be for whenever our slime enters and when this slime exits, right? So let's see. So body entered and then we want to send this to our, we want to send this to our weapon, right? Or let's see. So we could send it to our player, but I don't. I, I don't think that would work. Maybe, maybe it will, but. Now we'll just do body entered. Body entered. We'll send it to our weapon. And then in this, we're, let's see. So we're gonna have to go with like, if body has method, which is a go dot function so if body dot if it has a method which the me method is going to be handle hit right we'll name it handle hit and handle hit is going to handle the attack damage right so if we attack and there is a function inside of what the body so let's say slime.gd right the script slime.gd enters the area it's going to go and check that script to see if there's a function called handle hit right because we did if has method so right here we're checking like if and then you put the function name right so whatever the function is so let's say a tree has this function name 
if a tree has handle hit function in their script, it will play that script, right? But what will that script do? Nothing, or at least it shouldn't do anything because a tree should not have a handle hit script. Only enemies should have a handle hit script. So normally that's what you, you would do something like this body and then we'll handle hit and then we can send our damage so handle hit and then we want to send our damage just like that and then we can go up here and we can oh yeah so that that's not right because we haven't added our uh, damage so we'll make an export var so you can change it easy and then var damage so now this air should go away and then we'll equal this to like whatever your damage wants to be. I mean, it depends how our health is, but we'll just go with like 10, right? A basic, a basic, basic number. We'll give our slime like 50 health or something like that. But now you can see, so whenever a, whenever something enters his body, right? Which is going to be whenever we play the animation because the body's not going to be on so it cannot send a signal unless we played the animation right so unless we click the attack button it can't have a body in it but then once it, there is a body it's going to check that body if that body has a script function inside the or a function inside the script named handle hit then it's gonna uh it's gonna send it's gonna send the damage variable through which is our damage for this weapon which you can name this any weapon is uh, 10, right? So it will send that amount of damage. Then we'll go to the slime and say minus 10 damage or minus 10 health. And then like if you're at zero health, if you're lower than or equal to zero health, then Q free, right? And normally you wouldn't have Q free. You'd have something a lot bigger, but let's, let's just start going to add this in. So now we go to our slime. We want to go to our slime.gd and then we need to make a brand new function so we'll go all the way to the bottom we'll do function now we'll make the function handle hit and then we'll get our damage damage and then that's going to be an integer because it's a number and then we'll do well first we'll just print like bin bin hit right just so we make sure we make sure we make this a string as well There we go. So now we can go into our world and we can we can test it, right? So we can go over here. If you see, if we click it here, or let's get away. If we click it here, nothing happens. If we, the slime's in the area, you can see down there we print bin hit, bin hit, bin hit, right? And it only happens once. It doesn't go multiple times. We go over here, we are inside the area of the tree. Well, it's hard to tell now because it's full, but we go over here we hit the tree right nothing's been hit nothing's been hit we done here even in this area of the slime nothing's been hit until the actual slime gets in the area and then it gets hit right so that's pretty cool i mean that that's really cool already but now we need to go to our slime we need to add different stuff like health and everything like that so we'll go up to the top we'll do we'll make an export var as well and then this is going to be for our health. We'll do var health, health. And then what did we say we'd equal this? Like 50, we'll do 50. That's fine. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't want to, don't want to duplicate the line. Okay, so now we can go down to our handle hit. We can delete the bin hit and then we can go, let's see. We'll do health minus and then minus damage or minus equal damage right so now we'll just subtract the damage from our health so if you know like the weapon does 10 damage then now our health equals 40 and then we can also we'll print uh we'll print our health so we'll just do health just like that right and then we'll do if health uh is less than or equal to zero so let's enter equal to zero. Then we will Q, Q free, which means it's just gonna remove it. But 
normally you'd want to do something like uh, a, a function like like death of slime something like this right and then you go down here you make a function and the function would be death of slime and then you do a ton of stuff you drop the loot you add on to a quest and, and you just do all that stuff right but we don't have that so we're just going to queue free it to show that the enemy disappears and everything like that but that's normally what you would put here you would not just put queue free because now you have like no you don't actually know the slime has disappeared it just disappears on the screen so you can see down in the bottom you can see his health going down so 40 30 20 10 so now it has 10 health go over here it doesn't do anything but if we go close the enemy disappears the enemy dies right and i don't think we have anything in here we don't but next episode we're going to be going we're going to be touching up the cave adding more slimes doing finishing touches because episode 8 is the final 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 episode of this series but uh thank you guys so so much for watching episode 7 of the rpg series now we have a working attack system so we can move on to adding some uh like extra details to make the game better and finish up the game in the next episode and make it look polished but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did remember to go hit that subscribe button drop a like but have a safe and wonderful rest of your day